Hey guys, RC here. Man, this video has been a long time coming, let me tell you. Um, let's see. Got to readjust a few things. I can't get my dual monitors working, so I'm having to use my phone for the uh, countdown timer uh, for uh, the length of the video because I can't see my recording software. So I hope I don't get off center in the camera. Uh, but I think I've looked at that enough here that I'm pretty good. So hope you guys are looking forward to this. We are here. We are in Football Manager 20. It's going to be our first video on the channel in almost two months. Uh, that is mind-boggling after not missing an upload in over three years. Um, but of course, this was out of my control with the computer issues. So again, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out these, uh, these videos. And even if you came to the channel uh, through other means, through other series, I, I hope you check out the Football Manager uh, if you're into sports, because I do. Uh, this is this is my main save. So as I mentioned on my "I'm Back" video yesterday, uh, I did lose all of my saves. So I am having to start from scratch, which is why we are here with episode one. And uh, this is me. This is uh, RC. Beard's not quite as uh, luxurious or uh, scraggly as, as my real one, but uh, yeah, that's the best we could do. Uh, but plenty of gray in it, just like in real life. And uh, somebody made the comment the other day that I had a ruggedly handsome face, so thank you. Um, <laughs> went and told my wife, I said, they think I'm ruggedly handsome. You need to step your game up. <laughs> and uh, But anyway, so you can see we have no reputation. Uh, basic, I just took, uh, I just took the basic uh, skills. Uh, didn't put a lot of thought into it. Just kind of started and picked a club. So uh, I am fluent in Spanish somehow. Don't know how that happened. Uh, maybe because I was born near the Mexican border. But... That's not reality, but anyway, I am fluent in Spanish, so maybe that'll give us a uh, you know leg up somewhere down the road. What I'm projecting this to be is a single team save. How far can we take this team? Now, you know, if you start getting calls from other clubs, I don't think I'm going to actively seek a job. But if somebody approaches me, we might have to at least consider it, right? So uh, anyway, that's me, and uh, let's see, we are on a, uh, we are at Forest Green, and you can see we are on a one-year deal for $109,000, $71,500 after taxes, so that is nice. Uh, let's see, the board just allowed me to go out to start training for my next license, which will be a Continental A and let's take a look at a few things real quick so um we lost our <laughs> we lost our friendly match against our own uh u23 side which didn't bode well but that was the day after i took over so i took over on the 24th we were already in the transfer window uh we went ahead and played leads we had a one nil loss held her costa with the goal for leads as you guys know i am a huge huge Leeds fan Leeds are going up and we're going to be in the premier league next season can't wait uh fleetwood 2-1 loss jack atchinson got the lone goal for our side uh, then we had a 1-1 draw with watford which i was pretty happy with yao pedro uh with the goal for watford kevin dawson with the equalizer for us in the 61st minute and then we went on a roll 4-0 over warrington granted the the level of competition dropped but uh giovanni brown with a brace jack Aitchinson with a goal and maddie stevens with a goal tytherington went down 11 to 1 abu adams with a goal aaron collins with four goals odin bailey with four goals nathan mcginley and josh marsh added goals there as well and then an 11 nil clean sheet over shortwood rob hall with a brace lloyd james scored on a penalty atchinson with a hat trick we did pick up an own goal from daniel walland aaron collins with a brace in the first half joseph mills 
and Nathan McGinley with the goals. And then an 8-0 clean sheet over Britscom and Thrupp. And I'll be honest, I don't Fleetwood, you know, some of these clubs, you know, Leeds, Fleetwood, Watford, I don't know any of these League 2 clubs or, or whoever we're playing. I don't even know what league these guys are in. Never heard of them, so bear with me. Uh, but anyway, Kitching with a brace, Carl Winchester with a brace, Lloyd James on a penalty, Joseph Mills and Jun- with a goal, and Junior Mondal with an eight-minute brace in the waning minutes of the game. So we're going to be kicking off the league today with Oldham and Walsall. Uh, then uh, I guess we'll come right back for West Brom and Grimsby just to kind of get a feel for the team. And Well, you know what? We could. We could do Oldham and West Brom. I mean, we're going to get blown out in that match. Tell you what, let's do Oldham and Walsall, and then maybe we'll come back for Newport and the Chelsea under 23s. Do we care about the leasing.com? Not really. I want to kind of focus on the league. So anyway, we'll figure out. We'll come back pretty quick. We'll come back. You know, Port Vale will be in there, I'm sure. Either Grimsby, Port Vale, Port Vale, Bradford City. Uh, and then uh, then we'll just kind of get rolling in the league. Uh, in the competitions, uh, we, we are entering the first round of the FA Cup. They want us to reach the third round. The Carabao Cup, uh, we are going to be playing West Brom. And the Leasing.com Trophy, just if you're interested, where were we at? I know we're in there. Why can't I see it? Because I'm blind? Because I'm not used to looking for Forest Green? I swear to God, I can't find it. Are we not in there? We got drawn... Hold on, hold on. No, I'm not crazy. Yeah, Group C, right there. Hello, Group C? Oh, well, that's why. That's not even accurate. That's... Oh, hold on. Southern section? There it is. That would be why. Um, How was I supposed to know that's how that worked? All right, so we're in with uh, Chelsea's under-23s, Ipswich, and Portsmouth. Uh, So, man, we'll see if we've got a shot to advance there. And uh, let's see, transfers. Did not do a whole lot of transfer business, so keep in mind the 24th is the day I was hired. So all of these out moves were already done. Uh, Don't even know who any of these people are because they weren't on the club when I... Uh, when I joined, the only one I wanted to look at, Christian Doidge, he's a striker, not a bad looking player. He had good finishing. I might, might've been happy to keep him, but he goes to Hibbs for 325,000. Uh, so again, we did bring in, uh, let's say uh, Matt Mills. He came in as a player coach, uh, prior to my arrival. So he's one of our coaches. He's a player coach, a lot of freeze. Liam Kitching from Leeds, really? Okay. We got him on a free. That's cool. I don't even recognize that kid's name. He must. He he doesn't even feature with the U23s. I don't guess. Uh, let's see. Twenty fourth. All right. So here's where I started. You know, because I was art. These the, everything up to Giovanni Brown were already in on loan, freeze, what have you. So I brought in uh, Leaf Davis from Leeds on a loan. Uh, Leaf is a def- left defender, but I'm actually training him as a defensive midfielder because that's where he's been uh, featuring with uh, the Leeds club more in the midfield. He's got the all-around attributes to move up. Once he learns the defensive mid, I might try to train him into the central mid as well. Uh, Joel Mav- Mavavi comes in on a free. Uh, he is from uh, the Dominican Republic of the Congolese. I hope I got that right. But uh, he's an 18-year-old, valued at two and a half thousand, four-star potential, more for the future, and uh, maybe somebody we can sell. Uh, Sonny Best, another free 18-year-old Englishman, can play wing and striker, mostly a winger. Left foot, so he'd play out wide on the left, uh, an inverted winger, an inside forward on the right side, and three and a half star potential, good crossing ability. He might be able to play for us now if needed. 
Tariq Anderson comes to us on a free. He's also English, 20 years old, and he is, again, more of a winger, can also play a striker. Finishing's only an eight, so I don't really want him up there, but he's got decent crossing and passing skills, so I think he could do a job on either wing uh, and looking for some depth there. And there's the striker that I was looking for, an 18-year-old English striker, Cameron Stanley, 18 years old. Uh, he's got some pace, agil uh, acceleration, good finishing at 13. Uh, he can even dribble the ball. Head heading is okay. So I think we added some decent depth. So let's get to the match for today. And I tell you what, the game is processing, the computer's processing the game pretty quickly. So I'm pretty happy with that. I thought we were up here. We are going to have, one thing I did notice, we are going to have to go with uh, one less sub because we don't have the homegrown player uh, trained at the home club. So Leif Davis has not played for us yet. He was, uh, he was unfit when he joined us, but uh, we will uh, get him broken in. Uh, he, I take that back. He did play uh, the last friendly for us. He did play that. All right, so we are, uh, I kind of like the kits. They're a little odd, but I do like them. Uh, I would not want Leeds wearing anything like that, but but that's cool. I do like the look. So much better than some of the um, prison stripes that I've had. You guys know in the past how I feel about those. But we are even favorites, and uh, I've, I've hired my staff, general manager, assistant manager, scouts, um, and we're right up against the finance budget, so we're going to have to really, we're going to have to limit any incoming. I, you saw I had some uh, transfer budget, but I'm not going to be able to spend it or we're going to go uh, into the red and I'm going to have an issue with that. All right, so uh, we're going to be playing uh, Lewis Rise Thomas. I, I, I hope that Lewis Thomas uh, in goal. Uh, we are going to be playing our captain, J uh, Joseph. Is everybody Joseph? No? Okay. Joseph Mills on the left wing, McGinley and Rawson at center back, Bernard on the right. We're going to give Leif Davis the go in the central, in the defensive mid there, uh, Winchester and Adams in the central mid, Aitchinson and Hall on the wings, and Collins up top. So let's get to it. If I can get out of there, thank you very much. Let's... Uh, Oh, and yes, you see I have uh, one less sub because I have to have a homegrown player and I don't have anybody that qualifies. Nobody. I mean, I have tons of tons of guys trained in England from the nation, but nobody in the club. Uh, nobody that's good enough. I've got one guy that might be good enough to fill that role. Uh, but he's uh, not, he'll be out for about four more weeks. As far as injuries, uh, Liam Shepard, a uh, 24 year old uh, right back, uh, he is out for two months. And George Williams is out for the whole season with a broken leg going back to last year. So let's get out there and play. I understand. Oh, so nervous. All right, so we are playing this 4 3 3. All right, well, he already gave the team talk. All right, we're in the green. Now, let's pause it because I haven't even set this up yet. All right, um, so during highlights, during text-only highlights, between highlights, uh, notification settings, added time. Slight knocks, minor and serious injuries. All right. So I think that's all we want there. And we only want key highlights. That's true. And director. I think that's everything. If I miss something in there, let me know in the comments below. Oh. Feels so good to be recording again. All right, Winchester and Adams pairing up in the midfield. Some really quick passing. There's a nice 
pass deep into the box. Oh, couldn't get the inlet pass there. That was disappointing. And we shut them down. They couldn't get the counter on. Nice header out. Good pass over into space. We do have some players that are good passers of the ball. And I think that uh, is something important to have at the... Uh... Oh, my God. He banked that off the up, the up bar. Jack Aitchinson, first goal of the season for Forrest Green and the first goal for my return to football manager. Fought through a tackle right there. I thought he was going to cross it over to Hull, and he just banked that ball. Keeper had no shot at it, and we are up 1-0. All right, a set piece, Mills. Oh, what a save. That was a good save by the keeper. I thought that was in the back of the net. Looking good here in the early going. So keep in mind, uh, you, you guys, if you watched my I'm Back video, uh, offsides there on Davis, um, I've always leaned real heavy on tactics, uh, downloaded tactics. Just That's just, you know. I, I had played with tactics for years, could not get a grasp on it. Um, but during this downtime, I've been watching a lot of uh, videos. Uh, by the way, quick shout out to, uh, well, Loki Doki, of course, uh, everybody knows, right? Uh, he's the one that got me into Football Manager enough to, I, I had bought the game, really didn't get into it, couldn't understand it. Was he offsides? No, Aaron Collins makes the break on the ball. His first goal of the season, and we're up 2-0. Um, so he's why, but he's why I started my YouTube channel and started recording Football Manager. Uh, also, uh, Aussie Villain, uh, you know, he plays a lot of lower league stuff. And uh, actually, I was watching him or listening to him earlier while I was uh, kind of playing the friendlies and getting up to the up to this spot uh, and, and actually heard him mention Forrest Green. So uh, shout out to him. He's one of the smaller, you know, he's he's one of those mid-level channels kind of above me, below the Lokis of the world. Uh, so he does some really unique things. So if, you, if you're looking for another uh, FM20 uh, uh, YouTuber, check him out, Aussie Villain. Highly recommend him. Oh, a couple of good blocks in there. Uh, also, uh, somebody that I've gotten into over the break is another big one, and that's Lelujo. I don't watch all of his saves, but I've been watching the one from Greece. And a scramble for the ball, but Farrand Rawson gets the goal. He got the final touch that went into the net, and we're up 3 0 inside of 30 minutes. Um, so shout out to those three guys. Uh, they've been keeping me afloat with, uh, football manager content, uh, during my downtime. Um, but, uh, I had a point there that I was going to, I wanted to mention, but, oh, it was about tactics. So, um, somebody else that I've been watching is Zeeland. Um, and you know, he doesn't do any let's plays. Woo. That was auspicious. Um, but he had a couple of videos that kind of helped me out on tactics. And uh, Lelujo's helped me out a little bit too. So these are actually my own tactics that I've put in. Um, we'll see how they go. Uh, I've never really had luck with that before. Uh, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to change all this. All right. Yeah, I need to take control of that. I will do that between uh, between matches here. All right. Well, we've got one yellow card. Everybody, we've got a few guys playing extremely well. We will keep an eye on that yellow. Atchison is on a seventy-six. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna sub him off. Let's bring on. Freer, Elliot Freer for him, and Leaf Davis. We're gonna drop Winch. Uh, do I want to bring Winchester back there, or James? I'm gonna bring James back for that. That'll work. All right. Our backup goalkeeper is is dinged up. He can come in in a pinch if he needed to, but 
I'm not not super anxious right now about that. It'll be nice to develop some homegrown talent. Nice move by Hull. Oh, Freer tries a little chip shot at the goal. Just goes over the bar. Pretty dominant performance. We are picked to finish second in uh, in the league here. All right, let's make our last sub here. We'll bring Kitching on at left back. Uh, I'm going to give them a spot of praise here at the end of the game. They're fired up. And we end up with a 3-0 clean sheet. Pretty dominant performance. Got to like that. I've got to go fix that right now. Quality of possession. Collins on his debut. And Atchison, Atchison number of and quality of chances. All right, guys, I will be back for the next match here in just a second. <laughs> All right, we are back for our first road game of the season. We are at Banks Stadium to take on Walsall. And here's our starting lineup. Smith and goal, Mills and Bernard at the le left and right back. McGinley and Rawson in the central defense. Davis back in the defensive mid spot. Winchester Adams, all the same. Atchison has moved up top. Collins to the wing. And Freer, I'm going to give a start to today. I hope I got this figured out for the pep talk. Yes, I did. All right. So we are going to, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. We're going to go calm. It's over to all of you now. And kick off. There we go. I got it fixed. Yay. All right. They're playing in a 4-4-2. Basically a flat setup. And I'm disappointed. We're nine minutes in and we're not up two or three to nothing. All right, Davis tracks down the clearing clearing header. Oh, there it is. Put it in, Aaron Collins. Very nice pass by Freer. Collins puts it in. That's his second goal in two games. And he looks to be a dangerous threat up top. Davis with a really good cross. I thought Freer was going to try to put a touch, and he laid it off as that defender switched over to him, left Collins open for the basic empty netter, and that is very, very nice. Things are looking good. Walsall had gotten that one early shot. We've got four out of six on target. You know, I'm not even going to shout at them. They're playing well. All right, let's show some passion here for the final 10 minutes of the half. All right, a booming clearance out to midfield. Uh, Atchins Atchinson jumps on it. He is on a breakaway. One-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he got the rebound but could not cut the angle. That should have been in the back of the net, I'm afraid. I think that could have been better. All right, so we're going to do that and that. No cards, so that is encouraging. One of the things that I have done in the tactic... Oh, hello! What the hell was that? That's got to be a straight red. Yes, it is. Colin Lavery. I think I got that pronunciation right. They're down to 10 men. Oh, well, he's looking for looking for somewhere. All right, Clark. Clark really looked good fighting off uh, our defenders. That was not a good ball. All right, headed out. Mills. Freer. He loses it. All right, this is a really long highlight, and we're not doing jack shit. 
Freer in space. He brings it all the way up and then just puts it right into the keeper's bread basket. Hmm. Guthrie. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of set pieces. Do we want to close down there? That would be great. Mm. You know, we've got an extra guy. You'd think we would have somebody open. What the hell was that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask him for some passion. We can skip that. Come on, boys. Rawson, Bernard, Winchester. Easy build up into the box and no heart in the finish. How about we bring Collins up top? We'll bring Hall in on the. Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, Hall to the right side. To the right side. And tell you what, I'm gonna move. There we go. We'll do that. One of our defenders there having a pretty poor game. All right, there's a nice control by Freer. He's on a break. Down the left, into the box. Oh, what a layout header by Clark to block that ball for their team. Oh, Adams with a one-timer. Oh, I thought that was going to bounce in. Oh, boy, boy. Okay, um, I'm going to drop Davis back to left. And let's bring Lloyd James in, in that central mid. It's another thing I like about Davis. He does give us a little flexibility there to move around. And he's more natural at that left back. All right, we need, uh, I need to demand more. We have got to salvage some points here. And I'm talking like three points. Oh, man. Their keeper has really made some good saves, but we haven't been the best when it comes to finishing up our shots. No, nope, couldn't turn the angle on that. All right, they lump it out. Oh, what a first touch there. We get to the ball. Good. One more chance, maybe. What was that? All right, what in the hell? We're already, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to dial the tempo back. I don't know why I had it so high to begin with. Um, we're not time wasting. So one of the things that I've figured out is that the higher tempo, yes, you do work faster, but you can work very fast even on a low tempo. Uh, the higher tempo does set you up to make more mistakes. So the bad passing, uh, you know, things of that, that nature. Oh, taken down in the penalty box. Oh, uh, can we steal it? Can we steal it? Who's taking it? I don't know who. James. James is our penalty guy. Oh, he slots it in the corner. All right. Um, I think... Yeah, I don't want to park the bus. So I think we're just going to go back to balanced here. Lloyd James, his first goal of the season. Oh, that looked good. 
beat the keeper into the corner. And there we go. 23 to 3 on shots, 14 of those on target. And we are currently second in the table. I don't know how they've determined that, but uh, let's see. We are going to be assertive. Um, yes, don't become complacent. That was a good opening series, I would say. Smith makes his debut. Winchester, look at it, 97% passing completion on 79 passes that dude's awesome i like him he's my favorite player right now i'm i'm big into passing and pass completion just a firm believer in that all right so solid wins off to a good start to the season uh let's come back uh, for port vale and Bradford City, just because they're highest in the table. Again, I don't know. I'm just, do I even know any of these teams? I mean, I've heard of them, but I don't know anything about them. Carlisle, Colchester. Okay, Colchester's a club that I know, at least I know who they are. Crew, I've heard of. Port Vale. I tried to get a job with Port Vale, I think in FM20, and they turned me down. Uh Oldham, Swindon, Leighton Orient, Crawley, Salford, heard of them. Um, so, okay, so I've heard of some of the teams, but I just don't know anything about them. Guys, thank you so much for checking it out. Let me know in the comments what you thought about uh, just about the set, you know, what if you're looking forward to the save, what do you, you know, what do you think about uh, Forest Green? Um, Anything, you, anything you're thinking about at all, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. It'll just be good to get back in the swing of communicating and talking with you guys. Um, let me know how you think we should handle the save. Should I just treat it as a single team and just take them as far as I can and not look at any other jobs ever? Do we leave the door open if somebody comes to us? that maybe we look at jobs in that regard, but we don't seek a job ourselves. I think those are the only two options uh, because I don't want to actively seek jobs and make it into another journeyman per se, where I'm bouncing from job to job. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you like what you see, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're newer to the channel and much appreciated guys. And guess what? I'm back. So we'll see you uh, with the next episode here in a couple of days. Take care. Bye.